Cold War just released an alpha, but there are already plenty of ways to gain the advantage over your opponent and get more kills in multiplayer through adjusting the in-game settings. These tips are aimed at console players using a controller, but most of these tips and tricks will also work for anyone who is playing with a keyboard and mouse. So here are the best settings that will help you gain the advantage in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War during the alpha. Many of the settings so far in Cold War are actually set by default to what you would want it for optimum performance, but there are 8 settings to play around with and we'll start with controller settings. The first thing you want to change is your button layout from the default option to tactical. This makes a small but useful change in that the melee buttons and the sprint and crouch button are switched around. B and circle become the right stick or R3. By doing this it allows you to run and slide going around corners while being able to aim as the right stick is also the aim button. This gives you a great advantage that you would struggle to do otherwise. The next setting you're going to want to change is the slowdown and strafing aim assist. This will slow down your sensitivity when you aim at an enemy target, but it does also slow down your movement as well when you aim at an enemy. Now while this will help brand new players to any shooting game, this will ultimately only put you at a disadvantage in a gunfight against someone who has this disabled because you're not aiming as quickly as you can at your opponent and fractions of a second do count in Call of Duty. Next by default your character sprints by pressing the left stick but the time it takes for you to do that can be cut out by changing these settings. Jump into controller settings, press advanced settings and go to auto sprint and enable it and that's just one less thing you have to worry about in each match. Next, by default you must press square or X to reload and this is slightly different from the Modern Warfare where you had to hold to reload and that was the default setting. In Cold War, head to settings, advanced settings and change the interact reload behavior to prioritize reload. This means that when you tap the button you will reload first and if there is an option to reload and interact at the same time, say there's a weapon on the ground and you want to reload and you're able to interact with the weapon as well, you will now tap to reload and you can hold to interact with the weapon. The next setting is motion blur and it's the only video setting we're going to change during the alpha and the motion blur setting is there to add some very nice cinematics but during gameplay it really has zero benefit for you. When looking around you want to be able to see your enemy straight away, you can see from the image when motion blur is on and when it is off there is a difference in being able to spot enemies. Next you can play around with your audio settings and you can look at your audio presets. By default this is set to Treyarch's mix but usually that's the worst setting to choose in Call of Duty games. For me personally I have it set to high boost but you can try out all the settings on your own audio devices by pressing the preview button and the thing you'll want to prioritize most is hearing enemy footsteps. You can also play around with the other settings as well like I've done here but to be honest it's not really worth doing this too much until the main game actually releases. The next setting is not for everyone but it can give you the upper hand and that is to enable subtitles. That is because the in-game voice, the one that tells you about kill streaks and players capturing points and domination for example, appear in the subtitles and this makes it easier to spot what's going on around you, especially with there being a lot of other noises in the game to keep track of like bullets and explosions in the average match. Last but not least, choosing your right sensitivity and this is an important part of playing any Call of Duty game right alongside choosing the best loadout but it can be tough because what works for one player doesn't always work for another. By default the settings are set to 4 and adds is set to 1 and these are the default settings that the average player uses and that's why it's set to them. However as you get better at the game and you increase your muscle memory then these will definitely feel too slow and can be a disadvantage over anyone who's using quicker settings. Now I have mine set to pretty much default as it's working well for me however the more I play I will tweak these and the way I usually do it is to just look at clips of me shooting at an enemy and to see where I'm over aiming and under aiming and adjust the settings accordingly. And you can see in this clip here I initially over aim with a crosshair which means I will want to reduce my sensitivity slightly and then when I'm aiming down sights I slightly under aim which means I would like to tweak that slightly higher but it is best to wait for a couple of games of gameplay before you try doing this out. But hopefully that will help you decide on where to start when you're trying to set your sensitivity settings. Unfortunately no one can really tell you what to set them at, but I think Treyarch has done a good job in making the default settings feel good. So guys that is it for this video, the best settings for Black Ops Cold War and the Alpha. I'll make another video exactly like this for the main game where I assume there will be more settings to play around with including things like colorblind settings for example which are not here. To see more Black Ops Cold War guides and updates like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.